Assembly, let's stand up. We're going to sing a couple songs together. Love is mighty, it's so much stronger. 
You should have received a little communion cup as you came in through the door. And in there, if you just tear the top portion of that off, you'll find a little wafer. And then tear the second layer off, you're going to find a little cup of juice. And what we're going to do together is we're going to receive communion. And what this is, we believe at, at Two Rivers that in an open communion table, in other words, if you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're part of the family. You're part of the body of believers. Yeah. And so what we're going to do to this moment right here is everyone together, we're going we're gonna to pray, and we're going to take and eat the bread. The bread represents the body of Jesus Christ that was broken for us. And as we take that and eat that wafer and we chew it up, we recognize that our sin brought Jesus to the cross. And it's great grace that God covers us and He forgives us. He willingly went to the cross for me. And so then after that, we're going to take the cup and we'll receive the cup together. And as that juice kind of goes down into your body, it reminds us of the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed. And then it covers us. And so that God no longer sees our sin on the day of judgment when we stand before the Lord we're going to stand there and in front of us Jesus will stand with his arms stretched out wide and say this one is mine because I bought him I bought her I purchased them with my own blood and body 
And so as we take communion this morning, we celebrate what Jesus did. We celebrate great grace because we didn't earn it, but we received it. And so as, as we come to this moment, Lord Jesus, we just hold up these elements to you. And we thank you so much for your grace and your mercy that we didn't come to this moment because we're so good. We came to this moment because you're so good. And how freeing that is, how wonderful it is to have our shame removed, to have our sin removed from us. You don't hold it to our accounts. You covered it. And it doesn't matter from the least to the greatest, no, how, no matter how good I think I am, before you I stand condemned. But this morning I stand in who you are, Jesus, so that my condemnation came upon you. And I'm now a son. I'm now a daughter of the Most High God. We thank you for that. Amen. So go ahead and take that bread and everybody together. And we lift the cup. Lord, we thank you so much for your shed blood. It's not something that we get all that excited about blood in America. It's not, it's not a great idea to talk about. But so precious was your blood. So precious was it. And you gave it for us. And we received your forgiveness. We receive it today that you are our Savior. And we're so grateful for it. We never want to take you for granted in what you did. The price that you paid out of love so all we can say back to you Jesus is I love you thank you I'm gonna give my life for you amen let's take the cup together so now what we're gonna do we're just gonna follow up and respond I believe that when we take communion there's a special presence of God to heal there's a special presence of God to, to wash away our sins. And so on the right side over here and on the left side over here, there's people that are going to pray with you. And as we sing this next song, if you want somebody to pray with you, just go ahead and make your way. It doesn't matter. There's plenty of room for you to move in and out of these seats. We're going to sing this next song. We're going to give worship to the Lord. And as you do that, just, just make your way for prayer. And in your own heart, give God your best. Jesus, we thank you for this next couple of moments, your presence over this place, that you would have your way. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Come on, worship together with me now.
I will walk in your promise, yes. Walk in your victory. And I will walk in your power. I won't be overcome. I won't be Father, we just uh, thank you. Thank you for the blessings that you've provided us this week. Thank you for another week when we can come and worship you, Father. We just, uh, we just want to turn outward today, Father. Outward to the area churches, Father. We just pray for every church in this area that, that they're feeling the same anointing that we're feeling here today. That the Holy Spirit is just filling all of the local churches, Father. And that they, they can experience... The same kind of worship that we're experiencing today, Father. So we just, we just ask with a humble heart, Father, that you would continue to just not only bless TRA, but bless every, every church in Binghamton, Father. That every, each and every church would be filled to overflowing. Thank you for your blessings, Father. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. 